Shalom, all camp first. All praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakafradash, the Bonafa Milso, and the Sight of Lech. Right now, I'm going to get into a lesson about humility, man. Now, humility in the truth is easier said than done, man. Because honestly, the more you know, the more you learn, you understand that, hey, it's, that knowledge is going to puff you up. In fact, it is said so. I'm going to get this real quick in a second. But knowledge will puff you up. But you remember, you always got to stay humble because honestly, that price shit, that price shit, it's, that demon's really hard to catch, man. They honestly is, bro. Because pride sneaks on you, attaches to you, and pretend like, oh, all of this is from you. Just remember, a pride, it's a pride demon, it's a, it's a hell of a demon to have, bro. That shit's difficult, that shit makes you think that you're basically that you're some shit, basically, man. But at the end, you gotta realize, yes, you have the truth, yes, you're in a blessed position, but understand that this truth and knowledge and understanding can be taken away at any moment. Acknowledge, yes, you're in the truth, yes, knowledge, man, you are a man of understanding. Acknowledge that, hey, these people don't have it. But understand, too, now we are in the most difficult position on the man, basically. Because now, if we fuck up, we fuck up hard. We fuck up big time. Basically, but we are now held for a second. No, this stuff, but now we're held up to a higher standard now. Now I'm going to this. First Corinthians 8, 8 and verse 1. I'm gonna be a little bit pride on real quick to destroy the humility, man. And now, as touching things offered to idols, we have, we know that we have all the knowledge. <laughs> knowledge puff up. up. In fact, let's get that word real quick puff up, up, man. Back to, you know, I'm gonna get a blue letter and all of this. So we're puff up. up. It means to uh, inflate, to blow up, to cause a swell, to make proud. To bear oneself lawfully. Basically, it's an, it's gonna knowledge, this wisdom, understand it's gonna affect your ego. And hey, right, hey, right, see, man, this knowledge and understanding will affect your ego. And as if anything, if the truth with people in the world, because dude, there's dudes in the world that I know, right? As I'm like, I'm that bro. You know, I'm a restaurant business, right? You gotta do this, that, and they're cooking and shit. And dudes, like, yeah, they have a knowledge, they went to school, they went to all this knowledge in the belt, man. But that shit fucking makes them proud as fuck. And I see that, hey, they fucking up. So they knowledge up, 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 but charity, edify it. So look at that word, edify, man. And it means to, uh, to build up, to restore. Restore by building to repair, rebuild, to found, establish, to promote growth and is a Christian wisdom, affection, grace, virtue, holiness, blessing. To edify, to embolden man, but charity man, having the charity, and that could be both. That could be a multiple thing, bro. It doesn't have to be just money. Charity be like, all right, you know, help another brother out, bro, or forgiving, forgiving of one another, man. That's charity. Multiple ways to show charity, bro. It's a forgiving. Forgiving is a form of charity. Or as you, you know, if using this wisdom, man, is a form of charity, man. Helping each other out. Calling a brother to check on how you're doing. That's charity. And you're taking something out of your... It can be, it can be small, just as small as like... As saying, hey, how... Calling brother, like, hey, brother, how you doing, bro? How's what's well? How you doing, brother? Simple as that, basically. The knowledge does puff up, up man. Just be very, very, very careful with the knowledge, bro. Notice this. This is Matthew 18 and verse. I'm gonna start at verse one, bro. Start from the top and read. At the same time, came the disciples unto Yahushua, saying, "Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven?" And Yahushua called a little child upon him and set him in, set him in the midst of them. So a little child, right? And it said, and said, and said brother, like I say to you, except you be converted and become a little children, so basically like a little child is constantly observing and know and learning everything, man. Like little kids, you're seeing when you're a little kid, you're seeing adults doing this, that, and other. Whatever they're doing, they, they, they wow, they, you know, these people are just great, this, that, and the other, man. 
that if you're thinking that Walmart employee is just some grand person, basically, which, yeah, bro, humbling yourself, man. It's honestly said, humility is a very hard thing to do, bro. Because you understand that if you think yourself you're humble, then you really ain't, man. Humility, being humble, not something that you, you can know, but it's more like you understand basically. Says I can't say, oh, I'm humble, right? Because then that shows that shows proudness. So basically, something that you can't really acknowledge, man. And that's 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 a, that's a hard fact, about this, bro. Humility is a very hard thing to do because you can't really acknowledge it. You can't say, oh yeah, I'm humble. I'm I'm doing it. I'm humble, bro. No, that's that's some proud to say you're humble. That's a fucking that's an oxymoron, basically. But I was like, yeah, bro, you can get proud sometimes, and yeah, that's a way of being a, have humbleness. But you're realizing too that your mistakes, humility based on honesty, is realizing that we are we make mistakes that hey, we fuck up, man, and we truly all do fuck up at the end of the day, bro. No brother's no brother's perfect, bro. Ain't no one perfect in this thing, man. And it's impossible to be perfect, bro. We can't. It's literally impossible to be perfect, man. It's impossible not to go off. It's a, because we are living this fucking world so goddamn long that it's just like what, like how, you know? We can't keep we can't keep long harvest sense to the best ability. We're not always going to think everything in the best wisdom, the best strength, the best mind state every single time. We can't, bro. But I understand that. Like, hey, we. I realize, hey, we fuck up, bro. Honestly, man, we pieces of shit. That's not we all, we all are pieces of shit, man. Because, hey, we fuck up, bro. You know that it's it's hard, man. It's hard, like, yeah, it's like, hey, when you realize that too, when you, like, when you fucked up, like, fuck, bro, like, and you know it could've been different, like, fuck, man. To realize, bro, humility is very important in this thing, bro. And it says that he the humble himself like a little child, right? As he becomes a little children, he should not enter the kingdom of heaven. But whoso therefore shall humble himself as the child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven, man. The humble himself as a little child. And in a sense, when you're a child, bro, when you're a child, he said everything, although they're scary as fuck. I think like, I'm thinking myself a little kid, right? The fucking the the Walmart cashier is scary as fuck. They're like, this is an adult. This is someone way older than me. Like it's pick me up, fucking like, god damn. Or going to going to a fast food place and like, yeah, bro, all that shit. Like now it looks like oh, there's certain there's not there's all this another fucking dude, right? <laughs> when you're a child, now that's all brand new. It's all like what? Like what? I don't understand what. Adults going day to day to business, so yeah, man. Holding yourself a little child, realize, hey, we ain't that great, basically. Honestly, but we ain't that great, thing. So, honestly, humility, humility is very, 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 very important to the truth, man. But it's honestly a hard, a hard thing to, um, to do. To understand, to be honest, like yeah, I am humble, bro. Because if you're saying you're humble, then you're not really humble, basically. So this is First Peter's five verse six: you humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that He may exalt you in due time. So we're honest, we're for the Lord to exalt us, bro, not for ourselves, but the Lord to say, "Hey, man, this, this is my prophet, basically." In fact, I'm gonna get that blue letter. I'm gonna get a real cool definition of the word humble, man. Let's get this real quick. So humble yourself, right? It means to bring low, to yeah, make low, to bring low to level, to reduce to a plane, to bring to a humble condition, reduce in a manner, meaning circumstances, to assign to a lower rank or place to a base, to humble to a base, about to base myself by humble living. To lower the press of one's soul, bringing down one's pride. To have a modest opinion of oneself. And I do having a modest opinion on yourself, man. 
to behave in an unassuming manner, devoid of all haughtiness, be basically being modest. So let's get the word in, regular, in Google definition, man. Definition of humble. There we go. Yeah, it means it goes back to having having or showing a modest or low estate of one's one's own importance. So yes, I got the honestly, yes, got the word mod, uh, modest. Modest and unassuming or moderate in its estimation to one abil abilities or achievements to a limit too small. So basically, Brandon, realize that A, someone's always be greater than you. Someone's always be better, greater than what you do, basically. So humble yourself, so bring yourself though. Be modest about yourself. Therefore, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he care for you. So much shit's too heavy for you, and Things are just way too much for you, man. Hey, cast your care upon him. Right? Except for he cares for you. The Lord cares for you, man. I understand that, bro. The Lord does truly care about you. And hey, that's... And that's you understand? The Lord does care about you, man. Hey, man, I seem like all the time, sometimes it seems like we're back to, back to a corner. Sometimes it's a way to push ourselves to honestly we always push, keep pushing, pushing, pushing ourselves, man. But that's what I'm gonna get. Okay. With that, I'm give all praise going to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Kakratash, and Sakim Shalom.